Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to change the look of this notebook. You have seen me making this notebook a few days ago on camera and I will link that video in the description box. These are the super clear discs in 38 millimeters and the notebook is standard A5. And as you can see there are less pages inside now because I gave almost half of these A5 sheets to my cousin Mickey for her own disc bound planner. She doesn't have a disc bound punch yet, so whenever I give her pages, they have to be already hole punched. And I also have a video about the planners that I made for her, which I will link down below. So, in changing up the look of this notebook, I am also going to switch discs. I'm going to use these silver metal discs. These are not branded. I just bought them off Shopee for a very, very low price. And of course, I will link them in the description box. These silver metal discs are 28 millimeters in diameter. I have decided to use this notebook for writing in longhand the first drafts of the short stories that I plan to write. That's mostly how I have written first drafts of my short stories anyway because I do that task best when I am away from my computer. And when I am done writing the first draft in longhand, I then type up on my computer what I have written in my notebook and then I continue from there. And then I usually scan the notebook pages and then store them on my computer as well before shredding the original. So I will not be storing pages in this notebook for long and therefore I will be able to get by or get away with smaller disks and smaller disks would also make the notebook more portable. This just makes sense to me. And now these super clear plastic discs in 38 millimeters are going back into storage together with all my other discs. I have a video about how I store my discs and I will link it down below. Now to make the inner covers for the notebook, I will be using tracing paper again. This is the Durer brand and this one is 8285 JSM. And because I will be laminating this later, it doesn't matter if it's not that thick. And I purchased this Durer tracing paper in a local store in my city called Master Square. And for a change, instead of printing artwork on the tracing paper like I used to do, I am going to write something on it using my own handwriting. And as a writing guide, I am going to use the sheet of note paper that I took from the notebook. The plan is to copy by hand two different excerpts from my favorite novel of all time, which is 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I read the novel in the English translation because my Spanish is very, very, very <laughs> elementary. And even in translation, the novel is just so wonderful. I was very, very moved and I think my mindset changed the instant that I finished reading the novel. I never really looked at anything the same way ever again after that moment. Now, I cannot find my actual copy of the book. My entire library has been moved to the garage of my parents' house, and some of my books are in storage. After I got termites in my library when all of my books used to be on shelves inside my bedroom. Well, that was a painful incident, and I shared what happened in a video which I will link down below. And so because I do not have the physical book with me, I, I looked up the excerpts online and excerpts from this book is everywhere really. You just Google them. I chose to copy one of my favorite scenes from the book, which is that scene in which Remedios, the beauty, ascended into the sky while she and Amaranta and Fernanda were outside of the house taking down the bed sheets from the clotheslines and preparing to fold them and put them away. While they were doing that outside of the house, Remedios just rose up into the sky together with the bed sheets. And that's the scene. Remedios never returned, and Fernanda was more upset about losing her bed sheets than she was about losing Remedios. And to write down that excerpt, I'm using this really beautiful ink. This is the Buttered Popcorn Fountain Pen Ink from Ferris Wheel Press. I have a first impressions video up on my channel and I will link it down below. 
And the idea for these covers that I am making is to make the artwork very, very subtle. The ink, of course, because it is yellow, will not be readable on tracing paper. But I want to layer this over another artwork with a specific colorway and I wanted to see how it goes. I have always liked using tracing paper for covers and dividers for the disc bound ever since I went disc bound. I have videos about the process which I will link down below. This is my very first time to make a cover using my own handwriting, although this is not my own story. But this novel by Gabriel Garcia Marquez means a lot to me and I actually still reread it. I have read it a few times after that initial unforgettable reading and I swear I learn something different about the novel and about myself each time. And so that's going to be for the front cover. That's the scene where Remedios the Beauty ascends into the sky accompanied by the bedsheets of Fernanda. For the back cover, I'm going to copy another excerpt from the same book, another favorite scene of mine. There are so many wonderful scenes from this novel. And this was the scene in which Colonel Aureliano Buendia was shot quite a distance from his house. And after he was shot, a trickle of his blood, a single trickle of his blood, traveled all the way across the town of Macondo, along the streets of Macondo, along the streets of his neighborhood, a single trickle of blood, sometimes going up inclines and stairs, sometimes rounding corners, a single trickle of blood, imagine that. And then the single trickle of blood got inside his house and where there were rugs, the trickle of blood ran on the wall, along the wall, to avoid staining the rugs. And the purpose of that single trickle of blood was to reach Ursula, Colonel Aureliano Bundia's mother, who was in the kitchen, so that she will be informed that her son has been shot. And that is the scene. That is going to be the back cover. Now I'm going to layer these over artwork that I have downloaded from Unsplash and which I have printed in a very light opacity also on tracing paper. I chose a gray color for the artwork because I have always liked gray and yellow together as a colorway. I think it's very understated but also quite happy. In fact, I like this colorway so much that I even made curtains from my bedroom before using chiffon fabric in yellow and two different shades of gray. Of course, there is a video and of course I will link it down below. And after laminating everything using my little handy dandy laminating machine that has been serving me so so well, best purchase ever, I'm just cutting these down to the proper size that I want them to be and then to put in the holes for the disc bound, I used a single hole punch and a pair of scissors and a couple of binder clips using a template, which in this case is a sheet of note paper that I took from the notebook that I am making covers for. This has always been how I hole punch plastic uh, sheets that I'm going to be putting in the disc bound. I do have a happy planner punch, but I don't use that for plastic because it jammed once and I'm never doing that again. And after hole punching everything, I ran them a couple of times more through the laminating machine and then I placed them on the discs. I really, really like how this turned out. I like the very subtle look of the covers. I like the yellow and the gray together, which match the silver metal discs. And I like that you can't really read what's written on the covers, but I know exactly what they say. And every time I glance at the covers, I am reminded by phenomenal, wonderful, magical, unforgettable writing by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And that is my new notebook that I will be using for writing in longhand the first drafts of the short stories that I need to write. ASAP, actually. I know this notebook will truly inspire me, and I'm glad I thought of making the covers this way. You should try it. And that is my little video for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you were able to get some ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.